the end always justify the means. Today we will address three critical subjects of urgent public importance in the ecosystem. The first is the ongoing fisty call between bundle heads and fellow bundle heads. Then the non-clearance of some NGO CEOs in the UAAG app for disbursement. And thirdly, deaths of disbursement of UAAG grants. Let's quickly address the first subject of this session, which is the ongoing fisty calls between bundle heads and bundle heads. A few weeks ago, bundle heads were in intense fight with NGO CEOs. Some even raised petitions against the NGOs, where currently the tide is turning. Bundle heads are equally raising cases against fellow bundle heads. One certain NGO CEO reported to Om Julia TV that a certain grant subscriber is showing up to request for him to be added to his WhatsApp group to keep tab of the grant progresses towards his disbursement. And when he checked his uh, schedule, his name was not found. On deeper investigation, he discovered that this particular grant subscriber is actually a third party interloper who subscribed through another bundle head but refused to be added by this bundle head in the NGO WhatsApp group for updates. Out of curiousness, this grant subscriber uh, decided to make further investigation to find out where this NGO CEO is using the Excel templates that this photo area forwarded to this subscriber to confirm if his account details is captured sometime last year and the phone number of this NGO CEO was there. We needed to uncover why this particular one who had refused to add his grand subscriber or a fellow bundle head which he actually took money from to the NGO WhatsApp group. In this investigation, it was discovered that this bundle head actually charged the sum of 20,000 naira from this fellow bundle head and then later remitted 2,000 naira to the NGO CEO. He never wanted this bundle head to discover how much he charged him. Hence the reason why he restricted him access from the NGO platform. But knowingly to him that the uh, social media is just like an open marketplace. There are always several gateways to access the shops. This bundle head has finally used one of the gateways to access the NGO CEOs and discover that his name is not in the NGO list for bundle head disbursement. And secondly, that the one who had charged him hilariously 20,000 and remitting only 2,000 to the NGO. Currently, there is pandemonium in the ecosystem. This is not just peculiar to this bundle head and bundle head or the NGO. It is much the same story across several NGO and bundle heads in the ecosystem. Bundle heads way. Uh, tagging the CEOs as criminals. It's now a scenario of a cattle calling a pot black. Some bundle heads are equally engaging in criminally extortive behavior of fellow grants of whatever or bundle heads, charging them hilarious amounts of money and remitting tokens to the NGO CEOs, using the money of fellow grants of whatever to register themselves and family members. This scenario is actually coming to bear because the circulating rumors that NGO CEOs are going to be allocated to just one month from the UK AG and some NGOs are actually calling for few account details, some are requesting for five account details from bundle heads who have several slots with them. And with the, uh, with the bundle head account details starting first and other few ones coming behind that, and some of the grand subscribers who paid money through this bundle heads are not captured at all. Therefore, at the eve of this disbursement that some NGO are calling for few account details for some bundle heads, 
to follow them and select only few of their relative and their own account details to the NGO, leaving behind other grant subscribers who actually pay money to them to subscribe to the NGO. All begging a calculated attempt of some bundle heads to deny other of their subscribers the privilege of earning or receiving these grants. Uh, in the preceding weeks, one of them were accusing the NGO CEOs of going to truncate their entitlement. And now, some bundle heads are accusing fellow bundle heads of going to truncate their privilege of accessing or becoming a beneficiary of these grants by not including their name among the priority account details to be submitted to their NGO for disbursement. We are actually aware of this particular case because the Excel template of this NGO was in the custody of this bundle text and he actually has the phone number of the NGO CEOs. Now the question is, what about other bundle heads or grant subscribers who subscribe through one particular bundle head and they don't have the phone number of the NGO CEO they subscribe with and are still expecting to receive these grants but will never receive because some of these bundle heads are screen some of these account details and capture only their close affiliate, their relative and their family members. I pray that bundle head should not equally sponsor petition against fellow bundle head in this ecosystem. But to resolve this issue, it's advisable for all parties, whether you were a third party bundle head or a second or first party bundle head, to maintain status of patience and silence until allocation of bundles to the NGO. And it is equally important for NGO CEOs to suspend calling for account details from bundle heads who have 50 bundles, 80 or 20 bundles at the moment, pending allocation of bundles to NGOs by UK agents. Hence, you will adjust your allocation of slots to your bundle heads based on the total number of slots allocated to you for disbursement. The only obscure waters at this hour when we haven't actually seen the bundles allocated to NGO in the first instance.